Growing up, I remember every time there was a funeral or someone passed away that was in my family, it was like, oh, well, they had cancer, you know? That was usually how they died. My parents called us and had us come over to their house, and I was like, oh, I know something's up. You know, they kind of sat us down and said, hey, dad's got prostate cancer. And then when my sister um, got tested and found out she was positive, that's when I was like, okay, you have to go do this now. I had a my first prenatal appointment, um, I think I was about 10 weeks then, and I was very excited because, you know, I'm pregnant with my second child, and I'm also a little nervous because I know I'm gonna go in at the same appointment and take a test to find out if I'm positive for the BRCA gene. The next week, my doctor called me and told me I had positive results. And, you know, we get the whole printout, and I kind of went through it, and that's when I really started reading into it more and going, oh, I didn't realize that there's other cancers besides um, breast and ovarian that, you know, you could be susceptible to. I did get this gene from my dad. There's a 50-50% chance that my kids could have it. And I told people that I was going to have this surgery because I was BRCA positive. They were just like, why don't you just wait? Why don't you wait a while? And I said, no, my, my aunt was 42 years old when she had stage 4 cancer. And, you know, I'm 37, like, that's five years away. It definitely made me, you know, decide to have the surgery now rather than wait. I said, if it can get cancer and you can take it out, just take it out. I had a full hysterectomy because I, I don't want to leave my kids behind. I think it makes me hopeful that I will have a long life.